tell me you got there in time. Matter of perspective. I recovered the intel. Marcinko, you copy that? Respond, damn it! What the hell is going on? Payback. Rogue Warrior, my oh my, why are you hated so? Well, the story is a cliche, but it's your standard B-action movie stuff. In fact, if you liked 80s action movies with tons of swearing and one-liners, the storyline's probably right up your alley. Mickey Rourke voices the main character, Richard Marchinko, who's based off of a real-life Navy SEAL and the founder of SEAL Team 6. However, none of this game is in any way a good representation of the real man. It's a comic book version, but I still found it to be entertaining. The game looks fine graphically, I thought the level design was varied enough and made for good locations for some awesome shootouts. Gameplay is where I really had fun with this. You can take enemies down with brutal melee kills, stabbing them in the back of the skull with a knife, slitting their throats, or repeatedly stabbing them in the side. They're really satisfying to pull off. I love them and there were plenty of animations so it never got too repetitive to do. The game features a cover system which actually works well enough. Gunplay is solid with plenty of weapons to choose from, even if the guns can feel off at times or if the animations were not done as well as they could have been. Enemy AI is dumb but they will also kill you quickly if you don't use cover. What I really liked was that you could go stealth or guns blazing. You had a real choice, giving the game a much less linear feel than other modern shooters on the market. Yes, there's a lot of cursing, and the storyline and script are poorly written, but it's a guilty pleasure like directed DVD action flicks. Plus, since everyone bashed it, it's now really, really cheap to get. The main problem was a whole other version of this game was being made. Bethesda did not like it, so they scrapped it, Rebellion came in, and took a few of the mechanics from the other version, and made a completely new game very fast. So yes, there are going to be glitches and the game lacks polish, but it was nothing that was game-breaking, just minor annoyances, and nothing that kept you from playing the game. It was all just aesthetic stuff, like reloading animations happening twice, or enemies clipping into walls. So it's still fun to play, and none of these glitches or small annoyances really were that big of an issue. And for a game that was made so fast, it's still really fun to play. I got it and asked for it for Christmas the year it came out, and I still play it to this day. It's worth giving a chance, as I find it to be a fun, guilty pleasure of a shooter. It's short, but I just love the brutal melee takedowns, and I did enjoy the one-liners as they were really funny to me. Overall, this game gets tons of hate from a lot of people, but I don't really think they're giving the game a fair chance. It's not expensive now, and yes, when the game came out, it was not worth 60 bucks. But in all fairness, I still had a lot of fun with this game, and I think if you're willing to look past the flaws, you will too. This is one of the few games that really is a buried treasure, because when it came out, it was just bashed and hated upon for very low reasons. Yes, the game was short, but so is Modern Warfare and all other Call of Duty titles. The game lacks polish and glitches, but it doesn't keep some other games from being well played or well reviewed. Give this one a shot, and I think you'll find something that you'll enjoy for at least the four hour duration of the campaign. Oh, and did I mention Mickey Work raps during the credits? Yeah, that's definitely worth playing for. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe. That's the factory. The great leader must have a tiny dick.